Have a special delivery in the quilt shop today so we thought we'd get a nice fresh hot video out for you. We have a thread delivery. Now this is long overdue. Last time I ordered thread was 2017. So this is awesome. Pop and I spent some time uh, picking colors and some of the requests that I've had in the past. Uh, four colors so let's take a look. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ooh. Making a mess. Surprise! Okay, hopefully we'll squish it like that. All right, let's just, we'll take uh, each one out and, and just look at it, okay? For, so here, let's just take this one out. This is a uh, peacock, lovely, pinky purple color there. Very nice, very nice. These are all glide threads, okay? This one is coin, so like a, a silvery sort of gray. We needed a few tones of that as well. So we're just gonna make a stack. We're just gonna take it. We have a few, as you can see. Okay. There we go. This one is amethyst. Amethyst went out very, I think I only have a tiny little bit of amethyst left uh, of my other one. So it was very popular. It looks really nice on pinks and whites and yellows and greens and uh, even obviously purples. Uh, but it really kind of pops up on some threads and just kind of blends in others. So it's, it's, it's a good one here. It's a very, it's very, very popular one. This is new to our collection, lavender. Tried lavender, just a little bit on the darker tone side for the purple. I think it'll look really nice. Sometimes you want to shade different. And then this one here is lilac. I like lilac. Okay, very pretty there. Uh, this one here is a pink and it is, oh, periwinkle. Yes, we know that one. I use it quite often here. It's one of our favorites. It's a, a definitely a, uh, on the pinker scale of a pink and a purple. Uh, that's more this one here. The peacock is more on a purple of the pink and the purple sort of thing. Or you mean on a lighter tone of the pink, but definitely it's very, very pretty. That looks, looks very nice on a lots, lots of different colored uh, uh, quilts. Um, here we go again. A light gray. Light gray's always been popular here. It's great for, for all sorts of uh, stitch outs. Um, sunshine yellow. You need a nice couple bright yellows here. Here we go. We got buttercup, we got uh, lemon, and... Now we got that one, and this one is mellow, mellow yellow. So it's just been a turn, toned down sort of thing, maybe on a mustard sort of scale. That looks very pretty. I like that too, obviously, or we wouldn't have bought it. A buttercup, buttercup we've had here in the shop, and uh, it's very popular. Looks really nice. So, so like golden, like um, straw and grasses and stuff like that. There we go. Yellow Whisper, that's always a, a hit. I usually buy two, but I think I had almost three quarters of one left, so I just only bought one. Okay. This one here, Coral Gray number nine. We had a few, there was a couple of grays that we couldn't get. So uh, we just said, okay, we'll just take our order. But I think it, was, it looks like it's some of the lighter tones of grays that are missing. There we go. That's a very nice one, cool gray. Uh, this one's new to the shop. It is... Uh, strawberry Blonde. I was trying to figure out what the abbreviation of STR was. I was like, wait a second here. Uh, strawberry Blonde, very cute. I like this one. I really like that. It's a kind of reminds me of a really light orangey sh colored sherbet sort of thing. And coral, lovely coral. These are going to look so good on some quilts. I've kind of held off. Uh, uh, talking to some customers about uh, their quilts that they I'm most likely going to get a, a custom job and I've been waiting for these threads so it's taken this a little bit longer than I anticipated but I'm so happy to have them now so I can have some conversations oh sorry that one was pink rose pink rose that is very lovely very very lovely this one's cotton candy typical pink of a cotton candy looks really nice Let's go over here. Probably some white. Yeah, definitely. We're always using white. Nope. I'll put that in the front. And another white. Yep. Make sure we get two of those. Oops, sorry. <coughs> Steel blue. Steel blue is another one of um, 
the colors that I thought I really liked because of the blue and the silver mix or the, the gray sort of mix to it. Uh, and I'm sure it's going to look good on a lot of quilts. Some, some colors actually pop up different colors depending on what color they're stitched on. It's actually quite amazing. So it's nice to be able to lay them out or lay the fabric or lay the thread on top of the quilt top to see um, how it's going to look. This one here to see foam. Very excited by that one, you know, because I like greens and blues. So that's really cool. I'll put that there. This one here, silver, definitely. Definitely just a, a, a nice silver color. It's not too dark in tone, I don't think. That balance or yes, it will. Okay, here we go. Uh, marine, blue, definitely like that. Sometimes it's hard to tell what they look like on uh, on uh, on the screen too. Uh, cloud. Well, that's very nice. Bit of blue, bit of white. I like that. It's good, good. Okay. Uh, pale mist. Very nice on the green tones. Green and gray. That looks really nice. Bounce there. This one here, linen. Linen was another one that we've used many times in the quilt shop. Between yellow whisper and linen and white, uh, those are usually common to do some um, like a white on white or uh, white with a little bit of uh, a, a tone to it, like those two light colors uh, for uh, stitching on uh, fabric, obviously quilts, but uh, on certain areas, right? So to match them all up. There we go, there's that one there too. Oh, this one's a bit darker, there we go. Cool green number nine. Oh, did I get two of those? I'm, I think I must have got two of those. Okay. I'll have to think of a project to do for that one. That's for sure. If we got two of those. All right. <clears throat> Light gray. Yes, definitely. We always use a lot of grays because they like to blend, especially for even like Christmas quilts and stuff like that. Any really seasoned quilt. Bone. Bone is a lovely tone around here. I like it. It's almost got like a, uh, a pinky white hue to it with a little hint of gray. So I really like it because I think it, it uh, looks good on a lot, a lot of quilt stitch outs. It'd be very, very um, pretty with that one. All right, what we got here? Pink lemonade, ooh, that looks nice. Pink lemonade. Okay, I'm gonna go nice space here. Sorry about that, okay. Here, sea green. Very much on the tealy kind of tones, for sure. Sea green, that's a beautiful one there. Let's just put that there. Only a few more to go here. What's this one? Robin's egg. Robin's egg, we ran out really quite early in the, between 17 and 18. It looked really nice on a whole bunch of quilts. That's why I thought the blues, if I bought a few more blues, um, I might be able to help, you know, keep a few more people more satisfied with the colors that they're choosing, right? So it's, and unfortunately you have to make that investment. They're, these are not cheap. They're like 12 or $13 each. So Tidewater, ooh, that's pretty. Kind of reminds me like seas, the seaweed and stuff like that. Tidewaters, that's beautiful. All right, Cerulean, we've used Cerulean here. It's a, a, another popular blue one. Uh, so I made sure to pick up another one of that because we were getting really, really low. There was quite a few colors we were getting low on and I probably waited far too long to, to order some. Blizzard, blizzard, purpley blue and gray. That's what I get out of that one. That's gorgeous. Move you there, stack you there. Oh, nope. Okay, there we go. Oh, and last one. Last but not least, Hawaiian blue. There we go. Very nice. Uh oh. Hey. <laughs> so that is quite my little collection of th new threads in the quilt shop. So, and there's gonna be some fun stitcheries going on, that's for sure. Look at all those pretty colors. Hmm, I have to say, if I had to pick a couple of favorites, it would probably be the sea foam and probably the cloud. This one, this one and this one. I'll have to think of a really neat maybe thread project or something come up with those two. They're very on the same scales of lightness, right? So I think they would work really nice together and uh, just a little bit of contrast. So just completely a thread project, a thread stretch out with maybe some white or black with uh, the, the quilting showing off as the thread, so. Oh, it's gonna be fun, yay! All right, thanks for coming along this little colorful adventure and me showing what we got here in the quilt shop and hopefully there's a color that you like and you wanna send your quilt my way to quilt up. That'd be awesome.
Take care, everybody. Enjoy the day. Big hugs. Thank you for sharing with me.